In this video, we're gonna be talking about the haircuts that we are gonna be getting this year, 2023. These are the haircuts that I am so excited to see more of. They are the haircuts that I'm so excited to cut more of. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lena and you can find me on Instagram at Lena Does Hair. Okay, so number one is any iteration, any type of shag haircut. Oh my God, it's been going on for like way over a year. I think it started in the pandemic when people were cutting out their own hair. Actually before the pandemic, uh, during the pandemic, I'd say like 2020, I think people were starting to like really play with their hair and then the pandemic hit and then everyone was kind of cutting their own hair at home, which is why probably you didn't really see the straight blunt bob very often. Like people weren't really cutting it. They were probably just chopping it at home with a razor. But we saw Miley Cyrus do the shag slash mullet or shullet or wolf cut or whatever. It's that iteration of that haircut is what everybody needs. And the reason for that, let me tell you a little bit about why I love this haircut. It preserves your length, whereas a lot of us do want that framing face. Like we want to frame our faces with our hair and our hair frames our face. Like it just creates a frame around our jawline and it makes us look beautiful. So you can preserve your length and you can have all of that beautiful volume on top that you can play with and create all of those beautiful shapes. If you just like shake it out and you have all this beautiful volume, you can pin it back and have all of these beautiful hairs coming down, really framing your eyes. It frames your eyebrows, it frames your jawline, it frames your cheekbones this gives you a little bit of height and who doesn't want a little bit more height on the top we're like anti flat straight hair now we're doing big natural hair so the shag is a haircut that embraces your natural hair texture you can wash and go you can put in a little bit of dry shampoo some pomade some lotion and hand style it diffuse it let it air dry and it just sits so beautifully and I believe that everybody has their own natural texture that that nature did on purpose that works best for us. And we also have the best side parting or parting that suits our natural face shape that makes us the look the best. So nature doesn't really make mistakes. That's my theory. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. So now that we've talked about the shag slash off cut slash shell it, we are gonna be doing long layers. Long layers are also for people who want to maintain their length. It looks very chic, very soft, very beautiful. For for any of us who don't want to go the extreme way and do a mullet or a shag or go really short on top, the long layers will be forever timeless and it's a haircut that will forever be beautiful. If we were to look at pictures of Cindy Crawford, for example, from the 90s, those are long layers. Or we look at Angelina Jolie or we look at Jennifer Aniston, those are all types of long layers. It's a layered haircut. Where you start your layers is really what determines what the haircut is going Going to look like and how you're gonna wear it and how it's gonna style. If you have very long hair that has tons of long layers in it, it may not bounce up as much as if you had a shorter haircut. So if you go to hairdresser and you take off about four inches, if your hair is really long and you get to about armpit length, you're gonna have more of that kind of like butterfly haircut with a lot of volume. And you have to use products that are gonna give you maximum volume. It's very unlikely that you're gonna go get a haircut and then you're gonna wake up and look like those TikTok haircuts, so you know, the butterfly haircut so it's a lot of styling to get that big hair but long layers whenever I do long layers I use the razor a lot of the times because it creates all that movement in the hair and the hair just looks so delicious and as it grows out it continues to create that beautiful movement in the hair as it grows out it's like you can still kind of wear it naturally and you'll still see that natural wave come through you can throw in a, a curl if you want I have clients who will put up their hair in a bun and then once they let it out you can see the pieciness of the layers come through so that's why I love long layers you can start your long layers at you know your jawline you can start it over here at your cheekbone you can start it at your collarbone although I do prefer that it's somewhere around the face just to shape your face so that is number two and a good segue to go into curtain bangs so number three is curtain bangs I know it's not a haircut but it frames your face so beautifully that it should have its own category so the curtain bangs I think are not going anywhere even though they're we're not seeing them on social media as much as before I still have clients coming in asking for them just because they frame the face so beautifully and you can't go wrong with curtain bangs and if your hair doesn't split directly down the middle you can actually do sort of like wisps in the middle and then just some curtain bangs that kind of kick out on the side and that way you have a little bit of both worlds and well done curtain bangs are ones that you can kind of flip from side to side as well and wear with your hair down also connects to the shag haircut because the shag haircut you're gonna have that that beautiful curtain 
and bang with the big volume on top. I do want to go back to the shag real quick. With the shag haircut, it doesn't have to be an extreme shag. As long as you have that volume on top that comes down like this with very short pieces on top and you're maintaining your length, that is a type of a shag. The shag is, doesn't have to be that extreme mullet look. Number four, my absolute favorite, and it's the bob. The bob is, oh my God, it's my favorite haircut. I can't wait to get my haircut into a bob again. I cut it myself. If you didn't see the video, go ahead and check it out. And I love the way it's growing out, but like nothing can take the place of having a haircut that is professionally done by somebody who knows what they're doing and who can see the back of your head. So I'm going to get a blunt haircut again. And that is like an iteration of the French bob. Anything that is short, and straight. I'm gonna do another video on haircuts that we are not going to get this year and one of them is definitely the A-line bob. No more of the bob that comes down where it's longer in the front. Straight bobs, they are beautiful, they are chic, they are timeless, they are so modern. They make your outfits look a million times better. I can't stop talking about it because you can like tuck it behind your ears and you'll have it kick out and you'll get that beautiful French vibe. If you want it to be textured, you'll have to ask your stylist to add a little bit more texture on the ends, but still keep that heaviness on the bottom. The main thing about that haircut is that it is a triangle shape. We're not taking out texture in the back. I just feel like it really elongates the neck and it just adds that beautiful modern chic look. And finally, number five is, you guessed it, the mullet, obviously. I know we already talked about the shag, but I wanted the first shag that we talked about to be more about preserving your legs and having all of those really delicious layers. With the mullet, this is more of a punky vibe. This is a vibe of like very extreme, someone who's very brave, very bold, who's not afraid to dye their hair yellow or green. Personally, I won't do that, but I love it on other people. You know, the mullets where they are cut straight here, or you have a straight cut here, and it looks like that sideburn with a cut. Just all of those like geometric, really funky, super cool haircuts that, you know, you could get like a baby bangs that go all the way across and then a long haircut that comes down in the back and like shatter it with a razor, but it still has really cool shape and it still grows out beautifully. Really making a statement with your hair is the route that we are going with everything that is happening in the world. Hair allows us to express ourselves maybe in ways that we can express ourselves in other ways. It really changes the way that you see yourself. It changes the way that people see you and it really gives you that insane confidence that I feel like we need in times like this with everything that's going on in the world. If you are looking for a haircutting specialist where you live, just go on, on Instagram and hashtag or TikTok haircutting specialist and your city. That is the best way to find a haircutting specialist. If you go to a colorist and you ask for a really specific haircut, you may not get what you want. I find hairstylists are either really good at hair color or we're really good at haircuts. We can't really do both. I don't do color. I only do cuts because that's what I'm a natural at. I'm not good with color at all. If you see someone who has a haircut that you love, definitely ask them. I hope this video helped. Let me know in the comments which one of these are your favorite haircuts and I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we're going to be talking about the haircuts we're not getting in 2023. Bye!